There's a quote in African culture that reminds me of why we're all here today, and the quote is, you want to go fast, go alone. You want to go far, go together. Tonight, I'm at Orange County's top workplaces, and I want to talk about my favorite African word, Ubuntu, which means I am, because we are. He's an in-demand workplace civility expert and a positivity Ubuntu, writer. Ubuntu, in a sense, has the power to change how we live, how we work, and how we lead. If you're ready, let's get it. All change starts with the realization that you can do what you can with what you have from wherever you are. I want to change the world based on how we treat each other at work. We have so much power to have impact to create powerful, positive workplaces to change the world as we know it. In 2005, I worked in a work environment that can only be described as soul-destroying. It got so bad that one morning, I made a decision that I was going to take my own life. I remember a time where a group of friends hung out with me and I thought that we were cool and only to find out that the only reason why they're inviting me into their group is because they want to make fun of me and how I spoke. So I always had this kind of undercurrent of unworthiness kind of going through my life. As I got older and the bullies who were young and throwing me up against my locker now became the bosses and colleagues of the workplace, it got a little tougher. I ended up falling into a very, very deep depression. I woke up one morning, there was such a hopelessness as I had this realization like, another 30 years of workplaces like this where I'm gonna have to fight for my dignity and for my respect just to earn a paycheck. And I couldn't mentally reconcile with that. I was driving down the I-405 freeway in Los Angeles and I made a decision that I was gonna turn my car off the overpass in an attempt to make it look like an accident. I swerved it towards the guardrail and Thankfully, I just ended up nicking the guardrail and spinning back into oncoming traffic and, and then I settled on the shoulder of the road and I just thought to myself, what did I just do? I almost ended my life due to how I was being treated at work. And I said, why isn't someone doing something about this? And then one of my buddies said, hey man, you're somebody. Why don't you do something about this? And here I am. My goal here is to figure out how we can flip this around and create a positive workplace for all of us. I love the idea of people being more mindful of the energy that they bring into the room. There are three questions that will allow us to create the spirit of Ubuntu from a very actionable place. Is it kind? Is it true? And is it necessary? So how do we do this? Kindness is showing through your actions that you actually care about the other person on the other side of the interaction. If we did things that are kind, we could change everything. Second question, is it true? This is not just about telling the truth. I'm gonna take it a step further than that and talk about creating an environment of trust. When you go to work as HR leaders, my hope on your campuses is that you start work connecting to your higher self. Do you remember the person who you said you were in your job interview? <laughs> Do you remember what you had to say in order to get hired? My friends, that is the higher self. I can give you a practical way to live up to your higher self. If you would never dream about saying it in a job interview like you just heard, do not do it at work. And thirdly, is it necessary? Quite frankly, if it's kind and it's true, it most likely is gonna be necessary for you to have this conversation. Doing what's necessary is rarely what's easy. What's necessary is just that, necessary. I'm not here to 
rehabilitate mean and hateful behavior. What I wanna do instead is show people, if you create an environment in the workplace that's healthy, that has high levels of trust, it creates an environment that makes it so instability and bullying cannot thrive. In love and in light, I say to you, ooh!